so guys welcome back to the channel catcom red and in today's video we are going to learn about how to make a proposed land use map uh, basically how to make a land use map so we are doing a project in india which is in wakala so right now this is the existing land use plan as as you can see over here right now and this in the red boundary is the uh, our area of interest and for this we are going to make a land use map so basically whatever you have to do in a land land use map is that you should uh, first mark the changes that you are making in the proposed land land use map so these things uh, are the ones that has to be covered in your uh, land land use map which is like quick like quite a long list like residential commercial institution vacant land etc so these are the things that you have to mark in your uh, proposed land use map so first of all whatever you are changing changing that you should mark it first so that is this first of all we are making this uh, temple complex so we are uh, marking this uh, whole site as um institutional zone right over here this is an institutional zone and here we are proposing a water aerodrome which will help uh workala and even the neighboring uh I islands to connect so for that we have hatched it in the transportation use map and rest of the things we'll do it in this video uh, first we'll start with um let's say we let's start with the residential use uh land uses correct so as as you can see over here and you can also cross check with the ex existing land use map that these are the uh, parcels of land which are of residential use so let's say that we mark this uh, things first uh, let's see and for uh, uh, in a land use plan uh, you should only uh, make uh, roads and no other buffer uh, spaces should be there so as you can see right over here that we are making lines but it is going on the back so we'll select the image we'll change the draw order and we'll just uh, send to back then do regenerate and yeah now you can see the line so we'll make the land as as we can see it right over here that this is a land which is all a residential zone so let's say from here till here till here we are proposing a we are proposing a residential zone right over here is there any line no we didn't make any line so yeah and so we'll start about hatching it so right from here let's say we match the properties of the residential use hatch and we hatch it over here that's it it is that simple for uh, you to mark the land use maps. Uh, I don't know why this is getting behind in every in every time. So we'll just do this back, regenerate, and we will hatch. So as you can see, this area is also in residential zone. This is a building temple uh, or right right over here. So we'll specify that as a temple map and uh, so we'll hatch it red as an institutional zone, institutional land. As you can see it right over here. After this, after that we are doing it as again as a residential zone. So you should always check it that if there are any land parcels that are getting cut or something like that as you can see we are getting three land parcels over here this is one kind of thing this is one kind of thing this is one kind of thing so for that we will hatch it all in residential zone and that is gonna be a easy task so yeah let's get on with the rest of the residential area i think this is the whole residential area right over here till till here we are getting a residential area so let's say again uh, same thing okay 
so yeah we'll divide this things as we have different kinds of land right over here we'll do it as here as here and right over here so we get here also three parcels of land which is right over here so what we are doing that that we are making a green corridor right over here so we'll do the proposed land use map as a green corridor right over there you should always keep on uh, checking the things that are there in the existing land use and you should not uh, like change it a lot which is uh, which would be more questionable to the government or to your junior or to your faculty or to a client whatever it is for whatever reason you are making a land use map you should not uh, make very big changes you should always make smaller smaller changes that keeps you like safe enough right so this we are making as a vegetation land which is just uh, vegetation plantations and other not vegetation vegetation means that you are growing something on it that will uh, mean vegetation so I, I don't see any farms over here right now so yeah for for now that is just uh, residential yeah and this is also small parcel land we'll mark it as residential whoever wants it can have it <laughs> so yeah for about that this all are residential zones right over here as you can see this two are we having a green zones this two uh, i think this one yeah this is that we are having a green zone rest is uh residential zone so let's just mark that piece of land as green and rest as residential so that we can go on with it so as you can see i have marked this so this we have to plant it as vegetation or uh, just plantations and rest we are parking it as residential right like this and what is happening right over here is that uh, it is all residential it is above the this thing we are doing this as a map over here and let's say this road matches this is the road that is coming right over here this institutional zone this is the commercial zone and yeah i think so this we are doing it as an commercial zone as we have marked it right over here so yeah for that what we are going to do is we are going to mark this thing right over here let's say let's align align the points over here first so we'll select the existing land use map and also the legend right over here and we'll move that thing to like to the to a good extent and right yeah and now we can exactly see what our land use map is all about as you can see this road map is getting on hired is getting like overlapped right over here so let's say we also match it so i think there is a difference in i think a scale of something but this is um pretty much matched and we are going on with uh marking our pr proposed land use map that is now we'll mark the commercial area right over here let's just take the commercial area of the same that we have of legend and so this is a uh, whole we are proposing uh, it as a um, uh, commercial area so for this what we have thought of that we'll pro provide parkings right over there so for that i think this is uh, this is also commercial zone it's also going to be a commercial zone and we'll put this in into front yeah this also commercial zone then we are proposing a parking on this vac uh, vacant pl uh, plot of land We'll just mark this as green and this plot as a parking zone and rest again uh, we'll do mixed use 
this we are marking it as a green zone right over here so this is going to be a green zone then this is going to be a parking transportation use we are marking it as a transportation use or uh, vacant land i think vacant land will change it to uh, like parking we are giving it as a parking so we'll change this uh, legend as parking land control a we're changing it as to uh, this our uh, parking land parking land right over here yes and so yeah that is the reason that we have provided this service lane so it can cater to the cafes right over here there are many so uh yeah so why not so let's check out what our other things are this is also a residential zone so we have to mark this plot as residential as you as we checked in the 